So you got the broken token insert? Okay. You got the companion app? Cool. Do you have your own compass? Sweet. Do you have just like a bunch of odds and ends, like nuts and bolts and things? It's gonna be really Three, important. Two, one, bro. What am I talking about, folks? I'm talking about metagame minute topics, specifically games that kind of require something extra for them to work. Now the companion app thing was kind of not a good example because guess what? They built the game with that in mind. Some games need apps, some games have apps to help you along. That's that's totally cool. I'm talking about games that you kind of just need a little extra something in order for the game to work easier. Now, as you know, I've been talking about terraforming Mars a lot lately. So one area I want to talk about is the little player boards that we have. And a lot of people have um, something or other, whether it's a broken token insert that includes like a little border thing you can build around this to hold all your pieces, or you can just buy them, I think, plastic ones that hold all your pieces, and this kind of slides in and so forth so you can see everything. Or people make their own full custom ones that are painted and whatnot. A lot of people um, are of the belief that without something that creates little borders all over here for all of your, your pieces to stay in their area. This game is unplayable. I don't necessarily subscribe to that belief. As you can see, we ain't got that. And uh, I like the game just fine. You kind of got to pay attention, but like, I'm not usually like playing a board game in an earthquake. So I feel like I'm pretty confident that if I'm watching where I'm leaning, I'm not really going to have an issue with knocking my board into such a way that I can't make sense of what it was before. So that's my personal belief, but I'm curious, do you have any other games where there's some bit that you kind of added to it that just makes your life easier, whether it's a broken token insert or specifically if you have your own kind of homemade um, hacks to games, uh, you know, if you have little dishes that you put components in, whatever you guys use at home to help make your board gaming lives easier. Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious about how we can up our game. Uh, you know, if there's anything that we should just always kind of have on hand, we got some player mats right here. If we have, you know, dice rolling games, we've got a dice tray and such that we straight stole from Unrivaled. By that meaning they let us take it. Chua, rebels. Um, yeah, so I'm curious. Let me know in the comments below, folks what y'all get up into to help make your board gaming lives easier. Just remember that whether or not you just let it all hang out and you put pieces on edges of things and you could care less if they all stay where they're supposed to, or if you like to have little extra tools to help make your lives nice and neat and easy, the more meta, the more better. Click them! Click all these things! <laughs> Responsible restoration games. Click that link down below to see them. Click all our social media. Click, 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 click. Ah, ah, too many videos. Too much stuff. Ah, ah, ah. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? It's too much stuff. I'm drowning. I'm drowning all this stuff. Ah, ah.